Hello everyone, I'm Brian from WorkshopAddict.com. I know what you're thinking, you read the title, we're looking at Ryobi's Digital Bluetooth Gen Control Inverter Generator, and you're saying why another Bluetooth item. But I want to tell you, hang out for a little bit, even if you don't use this with your phone and you don't use the Bluetooth at all, this inverter generator has a lot to offer you simply by just having the screen in the front giving you some feedback on how much power that you're using and also how much runtime that you have left with the fuel in the tank. So what we're gonna do here is go over some specs. We're gonna go over the gen control, show you how we used it, give you some advantages to using this unit and also talk about how loud it is and just give you a general walk around. This inverter generator is much like many other Ryobi inverter generators, but it has a lot of upgrades. It's a 2300 watt starting, 1800 watt continuous with an 80cc overhead valve engine. Now one of the big upgrades to it is this gen control module. And that's this little screen here that will tell you everything that's going on with the generator from how much fuel you have left. It will calculate how many hours it will be running until it's out of fuel. It'll look at how much power you're using from the unit and continue to calculate that as you add more things to the unit or change the amount of power from the device that you have hooked up. Very nice system that gives you some opportunities to know what you have going on before you hit that overload button. And we used it right up to the overload button, make sure everything worked. Uh, very nice to know what's happening if you're camping, if you're using it on the job site, or even at your home. Last thing you wanna do is lose power, and this helps you overcome that obstacle. The front of the unit is changed up a little bit from others. You have two 120 volt, 20 amp plugs. You have the same type of system with the parallel kit that you can purchase to put two of them together. You have an overload reset button. You have two USB outlets here, and then you can turn on or off your automatic idle, and of course, the gen control system. The gen control system can be used either on the generator or through your phone, and that's where the Bluetooth comes in. So if you'd like to use the Bluetooth portion of this, go download the Ryobi gen control app. It's easy, you just pair the app up, it'll walk you through the instructions, and then you can see a lot of what's happening on your phone, and you even have the ability to turn the generator off if you'd like to. Now with that said, you can also track some maintenance hours and do different things on your phone if that's your gig. If it's not, there's still more upgrades than just the gen control that makes this unit worth it. So to highlight some of these additional upgrades, first we gotta look at how does an inverter generator work. First, it starts out by creating a high frequency AC power. It converts it to DC power, then converts it back to a 60 hertz AC power, and it allows it to vary the RPM, but keep the voltage very constant. That's why you can use these units for delicate electronics because the voltage doesn't vary. And why these units are so popular is because they're very quiet. And this unit is a lot more quiet than some of the units that we've used in the past. In fact, I will call this Honda Quiet. And I think it's a huge step up in what Ryobi has done for their units. Another big step is how you get into the unit to look at things, check the oil. In the past, you had to take and undo a lot of little Phillips screws just to get inside. You now have a little thumb screw here, which I think is a little bit too long, but uh, at the same point, it's a lot easier to get in and it's tool free. So we can look inside the unit, check the air filter, check the oil, or change the oil. Now, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, if you wanna change the oil on this, you have to tip this unit sideways, which means that you have to drain the fuel tank and be willing to take out two Phillips screws and try to catch the oil. Highly suggest that you use a pump, an oil pump, and pump that oil out rather than going through all that mess. The fuel tank holds approximately 1.2 gallons, and starting and using this unit is very simple. You have an off storage position where this actually turns off the fuel to the unit, stops it from going through. If you want to start it, you push it to the cold start or the choke turns on the choke and once it starts running, you can slowly turn it back to the run position and you're ready to go. If you have the automatic idle set on, it will just sit in idle. You'll be able to walk up next to it, talk without a problem. As it needs more power, it'll ramp up an RPM, but you'll find then too, you could still stand next to this unit and talk very easily. 
Overall, to me, Ryobi has stepped up their game as far as inverter generators. This one allows you to get at it, maintenance it well. It's a lot more quiet than the other units, and it allows for easy turn on, easy turn off, and easy carrying around with this front handle that you can simply pull out and use it as a tote. Now, unfortunately, if you put it on too much of an angle, you will get some gas seeping out of the vent up top, but either way, it allows for a way to wheel it around. Now, the wheels and back might have been a little bit of a down downgrade they're a little bit taller but they do not have ball bearings in them like the other ones did still rolls easy and I'm not sure you're gonna roll it far enough that that's ever gonna matter overall love this unit much more than all the other ones mostly because I can tell how much load that I have on it and it's a lot quieter just being able to know that hey I'm half load three-quarter load I can add a little bit more I can turn that fan up a little higher and still be good is very important to me and I think you'll also find that once you have it you won't know how you lived without it the Bluetooth portion of this it's a bonus if you want it but realistically this little LCD screen on the front of this unit is where it's at for me so if you're checking this out, Home Depot has it. You can check them out there. Uh, the price is about $5.99 at this point, which is about $50 more expensive than their last unit. But what you get with this between the quiet and the gen control is well worth it. We'll have more at this at our blog at workshopaddict.com. Stop there. Also, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We hope you helped you out a little bit looking at this unit. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.